I, I wasn't surprised to see it. I knew that when uh, Congress didn't get anything done before the August recess, that this would be a real opportunity for the insurance industry and its allies to, to, to do a lot of disrupting and try to uh, get most of the coverage to focus on those disruptions and, and to try to make people think that people who were showing at the protest represented. I'm not a fan of Let the man speak. Yeah, in fact, I, I spoke, I've spoken at a lot of town halls and I've had uh, a, spoken at town halls where there were a lot of people who were not interested in listening but there to complain. And there was one woman in, in uh, uh, I think it was Montclair, New Jersey, a uh, very raucous town hall. And I was explaining to her some of the ways the insurance industry and its allies operate to influence public opinion. She was having none of it. She came up to me at the end and she said, no one paid me to be here. And I understood what she was saying. I was thinking, I was very kind to her. I said, uh, now, I, I asked her though, I said, are you 100% are you sure that your insurance coverage is gonna be there for you tomorrow? Are you sure that you're in a plan that will cover what you need to have covered? Are you sure that your children, your grandchildren, are gonna have the coverage they need in the system we have now? Um, I always asked her, but I didn't. Uh, uh, she said she wasn't paid to be there. And I said, I, you know, I was thinking, I know that you were not paid. That's not how it works. The money goes from the insurance industry, from the premiums that you pay, uh, to your insurance company, to the trade associations that represent them, and then to the PR firms that they hire, uh, and then to the uh, the front groups that they set up, and then to the, uh, the PR people who uh, have the access to the producers and the reporters of conservative media. That's how it works. That's how uh, opinions are manipulated. And uh, uh, so I wasn't surprised to hear her say that, or to see the people who were showing up. But I, and I know that people are upset. There are a lot of people who were there and have been at these town halls, the people who are just really mad at Obama won. Uh, they're, they're mad that the Democrats are in charge of Congress. They, they are so easily uh, upset by terms like government take over the healthcare system or socialism. And the industry is behind it. I used to write those kinds of expressions because the industry knows that that gets people really worried and upset and I heard over the summer my own words being mouthed by people who were, who were disrupting these uh, events. Uh, to, your, to your point, sir, I, as a former journalist, absolutely respect your opinion and, and your ability to speak out. I, my whole first career was entirely based on that. And I haven't been asked many times before, why did you wait so long? Why are you doing this now? It took me a while before I, re I really had uh, a very significant uh, change in my life. When I, I don't know why I borrowed my dad's car and drove to Virginia. I cannot tell you why that happened. But I did. And I saw people who could have been people I grew up with. I grew up, my parents were factory workers. They don't make a lot of money. They never did make a lot of money. I come from a family of modest means. Uh, and, and, and I just say this to anybody who wants to listen. Uh, if you have the insurance you have right now, uh, as the politicians say, hopefully you'll be able to keep it. Chances are you will not be able to. You more than likely will be moved into some kind of a plan that you'll have to pay far more out of your own pocket. You have absolutely no assurance that your insurance will be there for you when you need it. You have absolutely no protection. There is almost no safety net left in this country.